me come first to Mr. Dhanendra Kumar. Mr. Kumar, I mean, you were in CCI. I think CCI was the first messiah for real estate buyers as such. What do you make of what's going on? This is most unfortunate, uh, Manisha. Let me first of all tell you that in this activity, there are three players. One is the developer, obviously. The other is the consumer, who is at the receiving end. The third is also the government, which grants the license. It's important that all the three work in unison. Mm -hmm. What happens, first of all, that the builder's agreement, which is also <coughs> known sometimes as apartment buyer's agreement, uh, this agreement is generally one-sided. For delays by the builder, he would only pay some token amount, 2 rupees, 5 rupees per square feet, while for any delay in payment of installment, he would have to pay 18 percent penal interest or the builder would also have the right to cancel it, 4 feet a large chunk of it and so on. The entire agreement is one-sided. There is also a term in the legal parlance, contra proferentum, that if there is a dominant party between the two sides entering into a contract and the dominant party draws a contract, then in such a situation, it would be an inference against the party that he would have drafted it in his own favor and against the other party if there is a situation like this, but I am not going into that. But the entire agreement, if you look into various clauses, when I was chairman of CCI, for example, and subsequently the matter has been examined by the appellate tribunal, which as you know is chaired by a former Supreme <coughs> Court judge, it has held that uh, that agreement is one-sided, it's unfair. And that's why the CCI um, quashed it and they imposed a fine of 630 crores on the builder. On, on the dominant player. All right, which the is problem is this, mm -hmm. that unless a builder is held dominant under the Competition Act, no action can be taken against the builder under that act. Okay. So, here, so maybe uh, this is what I want to hear. Th this was because the Bel Air group of the Forum of Buyers actually came to CCI, right? That's when CCI also started looking at it and saying, okay, there is an abuse of dominant position. What happens? Isn't JP considered to be a dominant player in Noida? And well, greater noida. Unless, how, do you, how do you come to that dominant position? You appears? see, a case is filed in the Competition Commission and there are various ingredients under Section 4 of the Competition Act, wherein basic premise is that the party concerned or the, uh, or the enterprise should be able to act independently <laughs> without his competition. Like in this case, they could possibly be the market leader. In fact, one of the factors also was that they declared in their prospectus that we are dominant. At that time, Competition Act was not so much known. Okay. So now people are being careful in the public issue. They don't write so in their prospectus <laughs> saying that they are dominant. All dominant. right. Okay.